<laughs> Leadership greetings. Um, we are back on uh, the Express Online with Vincent, and uh, we have Bokang Mabileta, founder of a lot of things. This guy is just busy. This guy is an internet guru. You know, when we say internet <laughs> guru, we talk about oh, Bokang Mabileta. Um, uh, founder of, um, are you the founder of Elite TV or, or what? Yes, co-founder to Elite CV. Oh, co-founder. Uh, yes, yes uh, it has three founders at Elite CV. Okay, then you are also mm -hmm. working, are you the co-founder or the founder of SA, Gov, um, SA Government Jobs? Jobs. So, okay, I, I think actually, let me say, co-founder of Elite Career Solutions, and Elite Career yeah. Solutions owns uh, multiple platforms. And okay. one of, some of those platforms, uh, SA Gov Jobs is one of them, Elite CV is one of them, uh, there is Skills, there is um, another recruitment company that is also in the making. So, there's a lot of, um, how can I say, business units within this one yeah. entity yes that's also mines interactive yes and now uh, that one is separate to elite career as a whole and nice. works in the yes in the digital space as yeah a marketing company awesome stuff last part last part you know people <laughs> like you inspire inspire me you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm a fan <laughs> I'm a fan. Okay. For, nice. for today, I want us to focus more on SA government jobs. We had okay. the latest stats that came out uh, from Stats SA just yesterday, you know, giving us uh, mm -hmm. a feedback on what happened with regards to, you know, employment for the past, uh, for the first quarter of uh, 2020. Yes. And I must say, you know, and me and you agreed to this because of, you know, this has been a bloodbath that has been taking yeah. place. I don't want mm -hmm. to uh, read uh, the second quarter. Uh, probably that might come out later on during the course of this year. Your thoughts mm -hmm. on this unemployment? Let's start it there. Your thoughts on this that that is taking place? Well, you know, um, from the stats point of view, I feel that these stats are um, not exactly accurate as uh, they're not representing the current situation as it is. Uh, okay. I think they're downplaying the current situation and maybe perhaps it's because they were compiled for the last quarter and we are about yeah. to face the new quarter. We will see the true results of COVID. But mm -hmm. I, I have a, a sense of feeling that we are well above 30 and even mm -hmm. 40. Mm. You know, I think at the 40 uh, mark, because a lot of businesses have closed down. And yeah. you, know, you don't need statistics to know that out of all your friends, how many have been affected. You can just look at 10 of your friends and I tell you at least four are affected in a very severe manner. And that shows you that 40% you know, or even 30% of people are affected, especially us black people. Uh, yeah. um, while on the other side, white people, I mean, they, you know, yeah, they, they're much better than us, if I can yeah. put it yeah. simply like that. Yeah. I was talking to, to, to my sister and she was saying, and the bad thing about it Vince, is that we women, they women are affected mm -hmm. more. You know, the numbers we were saying, uh, women, black South African women are the ones who are being, uh, you know, facing this, uh, you know, unemployment more. And like, and like as guys, and I was like, wow, I didn't even you know read through that. And, and she's like, but it's you know, it's a serious thing. Women are experiencing this. Um, unlike you guys, unlike men, you know. So for them, it's just double headache. On the other side, it's gender-based violence. The next thing, you know, you're not working, the next thing you have a, a child, or then what's having so it's just it's just a helter skelter type of a situation for them. Yeah. And and, and I can I can I didn't know that was, you know, the reality, but I can kind of concur with that, given that women, uh, most black young women are in professional positions, if I can put it like that. Yeah. You know, if it, it only takes um, a few minutes driving in Senten to realize that there is a lot of black young women working in those offices 
than there are young black males. All yeah. right. You even yeah. look at the cars that are in Sainton, you will find that most of them is a young black woman as well. So, um, and, and, and young black men are usually in semi-skilled or business ventures or things like that. And yeah. if I can call it in simple, but they are And mm. because of that, even during COVID, they're able to continue or shift while as a woman, as a professional woman, being now stuck in a certain industry, it's very difficult for you to go outside and panda. To maneuver now, through. To maneuver in, in yes. So yeah. that is how I can concur with that. But obviously this is not based on any uh, solid Re- facts that I have. But stats, yeah, yeah. Stats, but uh, from just knowing the industry and being around here at, at, at the capital hub of South Africa, which is Centen, if we have to be honest, you can see the situation uh, around young black women, and there's a lot of them here than there is young black men. Young men. If a lot of young black men, honestly speaking, and I'm, uh, uh, it's, it's sometimes sad, but it'll be in construction works and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Instead of being majority of them in offices or offices. highly skilled professional services, it's always semi-skilled. And yeah. That's the nature of it, honestly speaking. True, uh, true. Leadership, let's get into um, SA government jobs. It's a new website. Uh, you know, I'm excited about it. I went through the website. I was like, wow, you guys are doing an amazing job. What was the process for you to come up with such a website? Well, um, as, you, as you know, we're in the career space. So, yeah. Whenever we see problems, we look to finding ways or the innovative ways of solving those problems. And, and one of the biggest problems in South Africa is jobs. We all know that. Yeah. However, if you look at who's the biggest, biggest employer in South Africa, it's the government. It's the government. Yeah. How, yes. The government is the biggest employer in South Africa. It's not your telecom or some, it's the government. I mean, the government has national, has provincial and local government. Within that, there is thousands, and I'm saying thousands of jobs available. And thousands of jobs most are being posted. Now, they do that through their seculars, and their seculars are very different. And sometimes some of these departments, they go and actually post the jobs themselves on their own website without even going to the newspapers or going to uh, other big job portals like um, News 20, uh, Career 24 or those kind of job portals, PNET, and advertising the post. Therefore, a lot of people missing out on opportunities that they could have caught on to. And instead of having a pool of good candidates to choose from as a department, you only have a small pool that is based on referrals, you know, out of, you know, referrals by internal people to their friends, families, and so forth, making nepotism something uh, at large in government uh, HR. And, and, yeah. and that is what we're trying to break. We're trying to give people an equal standing to find the same opportunities as the rest of everybody else on one single platform. You know, sometimes you might be even willing to relocate, but without you knowing that the government is hiring in a certain, you know, uh, town or municipality, you will not even bother to go and apply, even though you're qualified, because it's very sure. difficult to find that information or it's very scattered and so forth. So we then looked at it and said, this is actually, we cannot say we are helping people if we can't even help them find jobs where they are available and they are available. We see these seculars, especially us, and we go like, but people don't know where to find these seculars, how to apply. And even if they had to go and find these seculars, it's very difficult for them to go through every one of those job posts and actually see the ones that they're supposed to find. So, you know, so we could then create a platform that caters for, for such for such and 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 i mean you're right most guys wants to work for you know for the government but then 
the process uh you know that is to you know get that uh, job the full of the process of going through uh you know applying sometimes can snail up and people are like you know what uh enough with this government post let me just look for something around you know um z83 we know has been a problem for for you know for most um Mm -hmm, take mm -hmm. us through the steps of you know having to apply on your website what does one needs to do what is it what does it it entail for one to apply on your on your positions because i saw the uh, post that um listed on the website yes so the platform is fairly new so we are loading posts on a daily basis right now we're in the hundreds but very soon we'll be in the thousands because there's lots of jobs available and we have them uh uh, in the circulars that we have been sent so the z83 situation to that question you know this is by far the <laughs> most, <laughs> honestly it's it's frustrating z83 yes. is frustrating and mm-hmm. and it is that one single thing that most that most people end up saying i want to this thing why yeah. because it's so manual you have to download the form fill it in apply Get and then it. through us or fix it or this so it, it's very very difficult so what we then what we are looking to do right now the functionality is still under construction where the z83 will be on on digital all right so okay. you fill all, right. all your forms and your cv and everything else on this one platform sa gov jobs mm. and then mm. it will produce all the documents for you in a pda format and for you to just simply send all right now the reason why we're not saying let everything be automatic we also understand the government's um fight you know with technology if i can call it that or struggle with technology because not all people have access to technology it becomes very difficult for everybody to say uh you know to set up a rule and say everybody must submit their uh, job applications digitally online yeah you see yeah. yes yeah but however we can't argue you know we can't resist change for way too long we're gonna ha- we we're going to have to go that route i mean we are forced to do that we're forced to do that i mean even your cv you don't do it on fax you don't do it you do it on a computer your cv so yeah. why do not send your application on a computer mm-hmm. so even mm-hmm. if you are in the in the rural areas and you have written maybe your cv on a piece of paper nowadays they want it on typed out so you cannot just write your cv with a pen because in the olden days that's how people used to do it you just take a piece of paper a4 from your kid's book and you write everything about you right there and then you fold it and then you go and submit it but that yeah. cannot be the way and and that's why we find ourselves even now in tough situations given the economy and this 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 covid and the fact that we're not utilizing it that much and we're feeling uh you know the the weight of it the, the pressure weight of, of it, it. yeah of it. yeah yeah talking about cvs right uh, cvs have, have changed from what they were to mm-hmm. something else now you know i was mm-hmm. talking to a friend of mine yesterday and we're talking, actually, I was showing him my CV. You know, I was like, yeah. I check out my CV. I have a yeah. CV, you know, in town. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he was like, brah, who did your CV? <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I applied for, you know, at this company and they did a CV for me, you know, so it looks yeah. so polished. When did CV move to this beauty that they are now? It's no longer, you know, that CV where it's just black and white, you know, with borders and shading outside. But now there's a picture, you know, of yourself at the CV. Mm. Uh, your CV has, you know, a lot of, you know, logos at the previous companies that you work for. When did CV move to that? Well, honestly, <laughs> when... I haven't been following, yeah? <laughs> but a lot of things have happened, if you think about it. I mean, yeah. Right now, look at us. We're chatting. Yeah. By us. I mean, who would have said that? Doing. So a lot of things... Yeah have happened in the industry. But you have to yeah. remember that also, you know, marketing, a CV is a marketing tool. 
And yeah. marketing is forever evolving. You see, mm-hmm. and a CV is what you call a personal marketing tool. All right. Yeah. So whenever you are in the marketing industry, you have to know that innovation is always key. It's always tops. Mm. And in the marketing industry, the most innovative is the one that's going to get the client or the job. Mm. Yeah. So same thing here. Now, CVs, if you are faced with, let's say, a thousand people, how are you going to differentiate between all the thousand if a computer selected that thousand out of 10,000 and said these ones have all the required uh, uh, um, education and skills and experience that you wanted? And so it gives you a thousand. So how are you going to choose you know, out of that thousand. And that's where yeah. recruiters and the visual element comes in. Mm-hmm. By the way, mm-hmm. what shortens 10,000 to 1,000 is a computer system called ATS, Applicant um, um, Tracking System, all right? So okay. your CV doesn't first get read by a human being. Guess what? Get read by a computer so that it can oh. properly shortlist, okay, the, oh. the, the, okay, the relevant people to that post, Person. Yeah. all right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then now this person now as a recruiter or potential in, in employers is, is faced with a thousand CVs. How are they going to choose the best one? Well, mm-hmm. in most cases, they're going to go and see who describes themselves the most or mm-hmm. better. And sometimes yeah. even looks come in because you, you know, if we are a visual being. You know, people mm. always like to say, don't judge a book by its cover or don't, don't. No, that's, but we do. that's utterly. Dude, right now we're even Zooming, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're visual beings. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. when you see somebody, you even attach what, you know, they've written. You can kind of have a personality there and mm. know yourself. If this is the kind of person that you want to work with or not. But now let's that's say you get a, a piece of paper that is just white and black and it, you go on the internet you try and search this person you can't even find them are you are you mm-hmm. genuinely going to feel comfortable with just knowing what this person just wrote about themselves and they wrote it obviously about themselves mm-hmm. you can't because i mean how can i trust you to tell me everything about you no, you're not wow. going to tell me the bad parts. You're not going to sure. tell me everything. Sure. So sure. it's best if I see it myself. And how do we do that? Then we go to your LinkedIn. We go to your Facebook. Now, Facebook, automatically, uh... your pictures are there. All right? Your pictures are there. <laughs> All right? So if you're trying yeah. to hide your picture, it is right there. Now, isn't it best to show your picture and the From one that you selected? From day one, that they know yeah. who you are. And even to a point feel maybe ah, we don't need to do too much information we already kind of know who this person is True. because they kind of can see you mm-hmm. nice that nice. is what gets people shot you know listed and that's why these kind of cvs came into the environment into the industry because people were like oh but i noticed this person mm-hmm. instead of mm-hmm. i don't really know who this is and even the information is a little bit sketchy so it's a pass, but this time it's a pass. It's a it pass. Can be a because no. of you know the person might look so you know appealing with regards to their face and what their CV is all about. So let's give this person a try, yeah. chance. Nice. Yeah. Talk to and, me and about Ravens, by... okay, I'm hoping you can actually, if you're gonna be editing this video, just show an example of this CVs if you can. CV. Why I yeah. say that because because. If you look at these two, like your CV and a normal CV, if a recruiter is going very fast and taking only two seconds to go through the CV, two seconds, obviously not even reading, it's going yeah. two seconds because yeah. they, they have a thousand CV to go through. Yeah. You will automatically see that yours will get shortlisted True. because they will want to read it later on because mm. it looks interesting. Uh, it looks Unlike appealing. one that looks like the CV. It looks appealing, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Looks yeah. appealing. Definitely, we'll have, we'll have to put that on the on the screen. Mm. Talk to me about okay, sharp. I did go to your website. I did find a, a post that I would like to apply for, but I'm not even sure with my CV. Um, I don't think my CV can win even any interview. Can you help me with that? 
Yep, 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 yep. And, 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 and this is absolutely very important because people trust themselves. They always think that what they have written is all right without double checking it mm. with maybe their friends or even somebody a little bit more qualified or a little bit more professional, you know? Um, yeah. And, and that's the biggest sin because automatically you'll find that if you get your CV reviewed by somebody else, especially a professional, mm. spelling mistakes, those, you know, uh, uh, and even reading it from a point of view where they know you, they will honestly point out a lot of mistakes that you've done. And a lot of people, whenever we're writing, we don't really even go back and read what we had written before. So you find there's even grammar besides spelling because word kind of fixes our spelling. And when we don't see that little red line, we think everything is fine. But when you actually and carefully read the CV, you find out that it's actually saying nothing. It's just words that are meaningless um, and not really selling the person. So as a person looking for a job, I greatly advise everybody that's looking for a job or about to look for a job to please get their CVs reviewed. Now there's services where you can get professional CV writers to review your CV and give you a feedback as to what you can do to fix your CV and to make it more appealing and to make it more strong, uh, you know, so that you can get the job. So those kind of services, we have one on our site. There's other people who have one. Um, it's a free review service. We give you a report on how to fix your CV. Your and CV. yeah, they're free. So honestly, before anybody goes out to look for a job with their CV, I advise that you get somebody just to review it. Because if it's badly written or there's a slight mistake in it, you can potentially lose a job opening. You know, Hush. just a mistake, you are, Ninji. You are. You know, Hush. and then let's now look into your website. You know, going back there, Sharp. I did log in, you know, because of when you get in, it says, uh, you know, you need to register, obviously. You know, you need to register. Mm. Will it be able to keep on, uh, you know, notifying me with the available uh, jobs that are coming, maybe? And this is SA Gov, right? Yes. SA yes. Gov will, will, will notify you of the jobs that you are interested in. And if you create a profile, the beautiful part about this, if you create a profile inside and you let us know what is it that you're interested in, where every day you'll get tips, you'll get uh, notifications of new posts that are out. And yes, you can apply. Nice, nice. But also, you can also shortlist some of the jobs that you kind of like. You know, sometimes we go through a lot of jobs. You just shortlist, yeah. shortlist, shortlist. And then later on, you just view all these jobs that are relevant to you. But the nice, nice part as well is that the advanced search feature allows you also to really dig deep to the kind of job that you want. I don't know if you noticed that you can also search for your job on a map. No. You see the map? Oh, you didn't? No, must... no, I didn't. I didn't see the map. <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> so basically, you go inside the website and you go to the map and it'll show you all the different jobs on the map. That are available. Across that are available in how many years. And you just go like, okay, which one is closer to me? And you can also filter these jobs according to, to you know, your role and so forth. So you can say accountant, and then look at the map and see where all the accounts and accountant, accountants nice. are, and nice. then apply it. Yeah. Nice. That is so good. You know, that is so good. So people should, you know, frequent your website. It's uh, sagovjobs.co.za. I got it right, right? Yes. You got it yes. right. Anything, anything else that we have left behind that you'd like to touch on before we wrap it up? No. You know, uh, uh, honestly, we're going through a tough time as mm. a people, but I will just like to let people know that this is not the end and there mm. is a way out. We are in the job market and yes, a lot of people have been affected. Yes, the stats don't look so nice, but 
whenever there's uh, a, a crisis like this, opportunities arise, all right? And as people do not, do not feel, do not fear too much, do not uh, 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 be in despair, just keep on looking and you will find a job and there are plenty still out there. Mm. And keep yeah. the faith, you know, keep the faith. Yeah, and keep the faith, no, honestly. Yes. No, don't lose hope. Bogdan Mabileta, uh, on social media, people, they can find you as Bogdan Mabileta, right? Across all these platforms. Across all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. I know. mostly you just like to say, LinkedIn, guys, get Bogdan Mabileta <laughs> on LinkedIn. That's it. On Facebook, he's there, but nah. He doesn't want you to interact with him there. Get him on LinkedIn because it's all about employment. You know, see, thank you so much. Let's engage again in the future. No, thank you very much for having me, Bravins. And honestly, all the best and all the best to the viewers as well during this time. Thanks. Awesome stuff. Thank you, my man.